is a Canon Rebo T3i. It's uh, the camera that I use for most of my video blogs, interviews, and what have you. It's a pretty okay camera. It does what I want it to do, and um, it's yeah. For the time I've had it, I can say it's done well for me. However, there is uh, just one issue I have with it and uh, that's the fact that it's um battery life is well pretty short the battery that comes with it this um standard canon battery will, sh will shoot for maybe an hour uh, sorry around 40 minutes if you're doing full hd video and as you can see there it's not big, the capacity isn't that big, 1,120 milliamp hours. Uh, <laughs> I know most, feature, most smartphones have way beyond this capacity, even the most basic ones. So that kind of gives you an idea of um, just how, uh, what's the word, you know, you know, the power of this battery and how long, the capacity of the battery. So at times, and because I don't script my stuff, I tend to ramble along, you know, and uh, I find I'm taking multiple takes for each before I come to something that I can use. I find I've run out of battery a lot, and um, many times I have changed battery, which I find is a bit of a pain, especially if I'm on a roll and I don't want to, you know, break my chain of thought. Or oh, if it's like an interview, it's even worse because telling somebody, hold on a second, uh, I need to change up, you know, just doesn't seem right. So I kept thinking to myself, how can I then have an alternative that would help give me like a concert supply of power? So basically, I wanted uh, something that, uh, you know, I could plug to a constant source of, of AC power and, uh, yeah, basically shoot as long as I wanted and only be limited maybe by the size of the SD card and after searching around a bit I came across this little thing here it's um it's an AC adapter and it's uh, basically looks kind of like the same as the SC adapter yo I mean as the adapter for a laptop and indeed you plug that plug in this right there Oops. Now, the only difference is that at the end of all that, you have this. Now, this is a coupler or a dummy battery. This bit here goes into the adapter, uh, that's the power source, and this is pretty much just um, a bit of plastic that has wiring in it that is meant to emulate the battery and the Canon battery. And as I'll show you here, Pretty, they look, you know, pretty much the same because um, this is meant to, this is meant to, this is meant to simulate the, the this battery right here. So when this is the way it works is that you take this, get it out of the way, and replace it with the dummy battery here place it with the dummy battery right there and uh, you know oops, gotta get this yeah there's actually something built here at the side so the cable can you know can you know sit up in nice and comfortably and once that is in there then get this here or whatever equivalent and then connect that to power as you can see okay so i've just uh, connected this here to the power supply dummy battery is in there and um, switch on And there you go, it shows right there, battery is full. And I expect it to go on like that for, 
yep as long as he needs to and yeah everything working just fine you know huh. see hmm. seems okay and so like i said this is uh very helpful if you uh if you are planning to do some long shoots and um, you know you don't have to be swapping out batteries every few minutes so i mean every few minutes or so however of course the limitation is that uh, you only can use this where there's a, a power supply uh, an outlet and uh, you can't move around because you're limited to the length of the cable which isn't that long but I guess, like I said, for something like an interview where you're not going to be moving around a lot or you're recording a vlog or, you know, some kind of tutorial where the camera is in a stationary position, then it works just fine as long as you have the power supply. Ah, yeah, speaking of which, I also couldn't find this one locally in Kampala, so I ordered it through a local co a company around here and I'll put the details in uh, the description of the video below. I think you know it's worthwhile. It's a pretty helpful piece of equipment. So, of course, there are a few things you have to bear in mind. One is that um, different cameras have different batteries and therefore would need uh, different kinds of uh, dummy batteries or couplers. And even within the Canon EOS range, for example, what works for the 600D or T3i won't be the same for a 5D or I don't know some some other thing and uh, that aside obviously the first part is more to do with if they have to be the same or compatible if they had to fit in in within the the you know the the camera but most importantly you have to be very careful when it comes to the information on the power needs of your camera you see, for example, this uh, Canon EOS T3i uses 7.2 volts, and um, yeah, that is the most important bit. Anything below that won't work. And I realized from doing my research, anything up to 8.4, even 9, some people do 9 volts, it say it work, but um, from what I've seen, it shouldn't be beyond 8.4 volts you know just to be within the safe zone and therefore this here this uh, and this information you can find right here you see this this says 7.4 volts 2 amps that's kind of like a half hours and yeah that's important too because anything less than 2 amps won't really do well to just uh, heat up the the you know the equipment won't work for you so it has to be between 7. Point, if you're using, uh, say, my T3i here, like a T3i, it will have to be 7.2 to 8.4. But, you know, the cameras are different. There are some for Nikon, there are others for, uh, you know, Panasonic, Pentax, you know, whatever. So, Sony. But the important thing is know what voltage your camera uses and let that guide you when choosing. Uh, the the coupler or adapter for your camera all right then i uh, hope this has been helpful and uh, thanks